Hello math learners! In this video, I will be discussing the independent sample t-test computed in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. It is good to learn how to compute using the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet because uh, not everybody has the uh, statistics application like Stata or SPSS, although these two applications can be downloaded for free and you can use it for a month or so, but it's much better if you have other ways or easier ways of computing or solving t-tests or tests of comparison. Aside from this computation, I would also be discussing the, the results and how to report it in APA style. What is an independent sample t-test? So it says here that the independent sample t-test, or independent t-test for short, compares the means between two unrelated groups on the same continuous dependent variable. Uh, we have here an example, our example one, we're in dito uh, sa two unrelated groups. We have here a section uh, male and female students are divided. So, ito yung two groups. Meron tayong group ng male at saka group ng female. And, ang kinukuha na continuous dependent variable sa kanila ay test scores. The Probably the purpose of the researcher in this particular example is um, the, the researcher wanted to determine if which group, male or female, perform better in a particular exam or test. So, yun. Kaya, kaya independent siya kasi yung grupo ng male, of course, is very much different dun sa grupo ng mga female. Okay? So, another example that I have here for which we are going to compute later sa Excel. Uh, this is a fictional study on the effect of expressive writing on physical health. So, sabi dito, the example on the left is a fictional study. Hindi totoo, pero uh, ginamit lang siya for, for illustration purposes. Now, the researcher wanted to know if physical health scores of two groups um, of, of people. So, they want to, they want to compare actually uh, not just wanted to know but they want to compare the physical health scores of two groups of people so the first group is the control group so ito yung ito yung physical health scores niya and then yung second group ay yung expressive writing group ito yung score niya sa physical health um, anong ibig sabihin ng expressive writing group score? Most of the time, yung control group, yun lang yung normal group na wala ka namang ginagawa or wala silang ginagawang um, special. So, they are just, uh, they are just uh, the point of comparison. Pero itong expressive writing group, uh, ito sinasabi dito, the second group can express their feelings or emotions by writing poetry, stories, novels, diaries, etc. So, ibig sabihin ko ano man yung nararamdaman nila, uh, they can, uh, they have an outlet by uh, making um, a piece of uh, literature. So, pwedeng, pwedeng uh, tula or storya, pwedeng short story, pwedeng novel, pwedeng mga diary o doon lang doon na lang nila gagamitin yun as an outlet so they they write it out so ang ang health score na nakikita natin dito uh, ang interpretation niya is the higher the the score the better yung physical health nung tao so anong gustong malaman ng researcher the the researcher wants to know if there is an effect or um there is a difference actually yun yung, yung much yun yung mas better na term there is a, if there is a difference between the physical health scores of the control group and the expressive writing group So, we are now here is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. I have already transferred the information ng independent, para sa independent sample t-test natin. 
So it says here that we have, uh, yung number na to, it says that we have 10 people from the control group and we have another 10 people for the expressive writing uh, group. It, uh, pagka nag, uh, nag statistics ka, so meron kang sample size. Pag sa sample size, uh, it's it's the total of all the people na pinag-aaralan mo. So, hindi siya 10. So, hindi hindi lang ganun. Kasi tig 10 nga. Eh. So, ang sample size natin, 20. Okay? So, yan. Uh, we, we'll just put it in here as a reference later. Kasi kailangan natin siya kapag ka nagagawa na tayo ng report ng results uh, using uh, or in APA style. So, ang importante dito, let me just make this bigger para makita nyo na mabuti yung formula. Meron tayong formula sa Microsoft Excel para sa mean and that would be, uh, syempre, una muna itatype mo yung equal sign. Okay, tapos huwag ka maglalagay ng space and then average. So, uh, kahit three letters lang yung nilagay mo, you can see na yung uh, average nandito sa second, diba? So, just double click it. Okay? And then, highlight. Okay? Hina-highlight. E, pag inano mo yung mouse, kailangan naka, naka-press ka doon para ma-highlight siya. And then, just close it sa parenthesis. Okay? Ayan naman, kita nyo, diba? And then, enter. Now, that gives us the mean or the average nitong grupo na to. And the other thing that is good about Microsoft Excel is, you don't have to do that uh, the typing dito sa kabila. All you need to do is, tinan nyo ha, yung, yung, yung parang mataba na plus na yan. Once I put it on the corner, dito sa pinakaibabang corner, magpapalit siya ng itsura, naging parang payat na plus. Ayan. All you need to do is, click yung left side ng mouse nyo and drag it papunta dito. Uh, kinon, kinompute nyo na rin yung kabila. So, ganun na lang da, ang, ano, ang paggawa niyan. Now, dito naman, sa uh, SD or Standard Deviation, meron ding formula ang, ang Microsoft Excel. Uh, it required kasi, once na nag-report ka ng mean, meron siyang kapartner, yung kakambal niya, which is the Standard Deviation. This is the measure of dispersion. Kapag ka nag-report ka kasi sa result ng mean, hindi pwedeng, hindi mo sasabihin yung Standard Deviation. So, we have also a formula for that and you need to type S Ah, equal sign and then st dev. Ito makikita nyo dito, diba? st dev. So, just, ito yung third one, yung may dot s. So, that, double click it. Yan. And then, highlight din natin yung uh, raw data natin. So, hanggang dun sa sampo. And then, close parenthesis and then enter. That's the standard division. Ngayon, automatic sa sa dito sa atin sa reporting ng mean at saka standard division that we always, kapag ka may decimal tayo, it should be two decimal places. So, saan magpapaliit ng decimal? Dito ha, sa ilalim. O, oh, ayan o. Oh. So, just click on that. Pa, panoorin, click nyo muna to, tapos punta kayo doon, yung cursor. Nakikita nyo naman sa arrow, ba And just, uh, panoorin nyo yung nangyayari doon sa data nyo kasi kailangan two decimal place siya. So, paliit siya ng paliit. Hanggang dalawa na lang. So, this is two decimal places. So, 10.55. 10, 10 uh, as usual, so, syempre, i, you know, pal, uh, antayin natin magbago yung itsura ng cursor dun sa corner. And then, click, left click mo yung mouse and then drag it. So, para makompute din yung uh, standard division ng kabila. There is also a formula for variance. Okay, kasi importante na malaman natin yung variance kung pareho siya o hindi. Kasi meron, kinalaman siya later on dun sa t-test natin eh. So, there is a formula for variance. All you need to do is uh, click on VA or VAR. So, this is the variance. So, kung kanina stdev.s, so, our variance is also yung sa sample lang natin. Diba? So, just highlight it. Okay. So, Ganon ulit. Close parenthesis and then enter. We also want this to be two decimal places. Standard yan sa statistics. Okay? Laging two decimal places. And then, um, again, uh, wait for the change of the cursor and then left-click the mouse and then drag it para 
makuha mo din. So, you can see that the variance are different, right? As well as SD and the mean, okay? So, when you do a comparison, hindi pwedeng, hindi mo titingnan yung mean, okay? Importante. So, sasabihin mo, um, okay, I am comparing the the mean or the average, yung central location ng aking uh, entire data. The central location or the mean is 68. Pero dito sa kabila, yung expressive writing group, ang central location niya ay 79. Obviously, 68 is different from 79. Okay, so, of course, you're going to make a report on this. Uh, ang tawag ng pagre-report ng mean at standard deviation ay, ang tawag natin doon ay um, descriptive statistics. Okay, so, describe mo, describe mo. Ito po yung average noong control group at ito yung average noong expressive writing group. Of course, when you do that, uh, isinasama mo din yung report ng standard deviation. Ngayon, so obviously, the, the numbers are different, but it is, is it significant enough yung kaibahan nila to declare na magkaibang magkaiba nga yung score? Kasi merong, meron talagang sa statistics kasi hindi pwedeng basta lang yung sasabihin, ay okay, magkaiba siya kasi isang 68 at saka isang 79. Uh, you need to do another test at yun yung part ng inferential statistics. So, etong dalawa na to, actually, itong dalawa na to, lagyan natin siya ng color, uh, ay part siya ng descriptive statistics. At uh, pagka naggawa na tayo ng t-test to determine kung significant nga yung difference, ito na yung tinatawag natin na inferential So, pag gagawa ka ng inferential, hindi pwedeng hindi ka gagawa ng descriptive. So, magkaano sila, uh, partner din sila. So, ayan. So, paano ginagawa yung titas? It's just very, very easy. All you need to do is um, type the formula. So, equals t-test. Ayan, no? tinan nyo, nagiging blue na siya agad. Double click it. So, meron ka dito ang sinasabi dito o oh, merong guide si Excel kung what are you going to do. So, array 1 is the first group and you need to separate it with comma. So, comma yan. And then, sabi niya, you do the second array. So, uh, just highlight the second group. Ayan, o, tinan nyo. Nagbabago siya ng color. So, na-highlight siya. Tapos, separate it with a comma. So, we always do a two-tailed distribution. Sabi niya, one-tailed distribution. At choose one or write one kung one-tailed distribution at saka two pag two-tailed. So, we, we usually do a two-tailed distribution. And then, separate it with a comma. And then, ito naman, sabi niya, do, uh, write one pag paired at saka two pag two sample of equal variance or three to sample with an equal variance. Obviously, tinan nyo naman yung variance natin. 111.33 at saka 94.44. So, that's different. So, we just need to write three. And then, we will close it. There you go. Now, pagdating sa inferential statistics, we do three decimal places. So, we'll just make it shorter. The three decimal places. So, tatlo, di ba? And that is point... 0, 0.26. Sa interpretation natin ng t-test, this is significant. Ayan. We have found out or we have computed that uh, the difference on the scores is 0 0.026 and it's significant. Okay, so ngayon, emphasize naman natin yung paano i-report yung result okay, ng, ng t-test. So, using APA style. So, let me just make it bigger again para makita nyo. Okay, so ito siya. So, the physical health scores of 10 participants for the expressive writing group. Tapos, uh, ilalagay mo dito yung mean. Ito yun, no? Yung mean. Of course, kasi sinabi mo, expressive writing group muna eh. So, ayan yung mean, ayan yung standard deviation. Okay? We're compared to 10 participants of the control group. So, 
since control group yan yung mean ng control which is 68 and standard deviation of 10.5 and 10.55 and showed better score so parang sinasabi mo na yung 10 participants ng expressive writing group has a better physical health score kasi mas mataas siya di ba showed better score than compared to doon sa control group mo Okay. And uh, this one is the result of the TITE. Sabi niya, there was a significant difference on the means of two groups at P less than 0 0.050. Kasi um, ang comparison kasi dito lagi, ito yung standard. Okay. So since this is 0 0.026, which is less than 0 0.050, then we say that there was a significant difference on the means of the two groups. So, yan yung uh, ganyan. There are other ways for which you can report uh, using APA style, but mostly yan yung, yung pinaka template. So, there are many references that you can uh, use. All you need to do is search for it. Gumamit kayo ng browser. Just type uh, reporting t test result in APA style, and you will be given um, mga madaming samples ng mga ganyan. So, I I also did that para mas maganda, mas technical uh, looking yung papel nyo or yung document nyo pag maayos yung pagre-report. Okay? So, for now, yan muna at uh, I will be doing another one for paired sample t-test at saka sa ANOVA. So, thank you very much for watching and God bless.